Happy Mark 10 day. <laughs> That's one way to celebrate it. <laughs> For Mario. Jeez, they, they just, just... They just went all out with the whole twitching animation. When you think about it, Mario has a lot of faults. In his games. Seriously. Anyway, yeah, you weren't expecting this, were ya? Yeah, I know I need to get back to Odyssey, but, eh. Whatevs. I'll finish up Odyssey on my own time. I don't think I might do 100%. I'd like to. But yeah. I might just do finish up Mario Rabbids again. I might not be going 100% there. There either. But with Sparks of Hope on the way this year. Yeah, I think it's coming along. I was surprised they, they didn't like upgrade the textures. Or is like to look more in uh, Odyssey's art style, but again, this works. I just, I was just hoping that they, they would at least do that. But okay, give us the drill ground pound again. Yes, we know how to do that. Doing that. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that still gets me. Yeah, this isn't my first time playing this. Yeah, when you know the game starts off with the wreck of an airship, one of Bowser's, you know things have already gotten bad. Yeah, and you may have not noticed, but there is a lot of nods to Super Mario Sunshine in 3 all Stars in general, when you think about it, in this one. I think it was what they were going for. I'm surprised 3D World's engine could do this. Again, I was kind of hoping for something more on the lines of an Odyssey 2. But again, this is good. It, and I feel like a lot of the mechanics and something like this could have only been done with, with a port of 3D World. Like, that, that's the only way of excusing it. Because this was very experimental. And I... And I'd really like to see, like, a full open-world Mario game where it's all seamless, not like little sound game box areas. Those are fun and all. <laughs> but... I'd like a seamless game, like, with an overall, like, like, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, it's like, that would be amazing. You know, it just plays like Mario 64, where his controls... Kinda... Well, Odysseys, basically. Play on how Mario's movements go. Oh, and just continue with the Odyssey art style. Cause, cause that... Those, that level of detail works tremendous for Mario. Yeah, well, I understand why they, they didn't... Didn't because they wanted to make it... It's similar to the original game. Like, you can still see some, uh... Textures. Mario, if you look closer, I mean, look. Look. I sometimes wonder if that man is alright. 
Hey, that's a weird way to bend your your leg. Okay, I think they may have increased the texture a little. It'll, but not to the point where it ruins the three D world look. Also, I apologize if I, uh, if I sound different in this video, um, I had to adjust some settings on my mic since I got it set up again. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Hmm. Notice how Mario is very skeptical? I, I I was too when they announced that we'd be teaming up with Bowser Jr. But I felt like this would be more of a case of Crash Twin Sanity. But then again, Mario is not like Crash in terms of personality. Oh, yeah, because Crash is just off the wall. Oh, and just does whatever pops into his mind. And while well, Mario's more modest. Yes, I really hope they keep keep how Mario's personality goes in the game. It's like like kinda like the Jolly Happy Go Lucky thing. Thing that Charles Martin Nate established. Which I, I have faith Chris Pratt can pull it off. Off or at least give us something good. But, given his, uh, work in the LEGO movie. Movie, I I'm pretty sure Charles wouldn't, like, let him, like, dare step into that role of, like, if he was just gonna screw it up. Up, uh, man, like, after seeing a bit of the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I think Charlie Day's gonna make an amazing Luigi movie. I mean, as long as Charles is still voicing Mario in the games, I'm happy. I'm, I'm skeptical, but I'm happy. Oh, look at the kitty. Look at the kitty. Huh, <laughs> that's cute. Whoa! Yeah, I, I'm not saying that this game is bad or anything, but I was kind of hoping for more on the line of, of Odyssey level stuff. Uh, but then again, it is packed with 3D world, so I understand why it's a short day. And, and plus, this was made during the pandemic. And I could probably developers were all working from home and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Understand why. This is understandable. Okay, now it just felt like a little more like Crash Team. It's that. Yep, feeling a lot more like Twin Sanity. I might redo my playthrough on that. Uh, if I, if, uh, maybe the Xbox Series S, S or, uh, Xbox One S, it's the lag on that. Uh, cause some of the lag with cutscenes and the, uh, especially the, uh, one segment, segment with Nina Cortex, laggy, I look back on that and I'm like, hmm. Maybe I could do better? And, and I might just get an uh, original Xbox. Maybe just for that. 
Maybe just for that. No guarantees, folks. Again, funds are limited. Oh, and of course I flap my gums too much. Rather than just play the darn game. Ooh. Yeah, I really like how they made everything cat themed and like I feel like they could have only gotten away with this with the 3D world port. <laughs> or I would have picked an Odyssey 2. Ew, but eh. I'll take what I can get, you know? I mean it was during the pandemic. And this is all very experimental in terms of how 3D Mario goes. Like Fury Bowser mechanic was like very uh Interesting. So now you gotta avoid all his attacks and terrain changes. And even then the characters change. I can't understand the lyrics of this. Over here, Bowser! On fire! A lot of the scary Bowser segments will be easier and much quicker for me because I have to tell you what the Bowser me about. Amiibo. The only Super Mario 3D World Amiibo I was able to get was the Cat Mario one. Okay, I do not have that feature. Well, that's mighty convenient. Again, I'd like to see a Mario game that's more open world like this, but bigger, bigger, like on Zelda scale. Like the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild scale, like would be good. And with the Odyssey art style. Wow. Even if it's not a sequel to o Odyssey and it does something new. In terms of mechanics. Then yeah. That'd be good. Alright, but where do they go from Odyssey's on the fly mechanic? <laughs> You know? Like, like, this just went back to the traditional power-up style, but, yeah, it borrows a lot from Odyssey in terms of, like, you don't run out of extra lives. It has, like, the Mario Odyssey life system, like, when you die, you just get some coins. Because you don't get a game over. And he nails the landing! You don't call him super for nothing.
3D World still had amazing detail too. Even though it's like nowhere as near as Kazaxi's, but like, yeah, the water texture of Mario, that was a nice ad addition. And I know they were just going with Odyssey's, I mean, uh, 3D World uh, style. Kyle rather than Odyssey's. But I noticed some textures may or may not have been like, uh, amped up from uh, the Wii U version. Enough rambling around about the uh, about my preferences. Instead, uh, I'm just gonna play the game. They had another version of this video where I went on longer about it, and I'm pretty sure you would have clicked away already. One, a boomerang flower. Two, a boomerang flower. Well, go get it. Almost! Almost time. Three boomerang flower! Ah! 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 Oh no, I'm not waiting on this. Alright, Skylander's Bowser, you're up. Close enough. Alright, four cat shines under how long has this video been going on for? Two? Twenty minutes? I doubt it's been twenty minutes already. But if so, okay. Well, go get it! And there's scared Mario you now. Get him. Spin! The popular term Vinny uses too much. Vinny of Vine Sauce. 
Find sus. Find sus. When Vinny is sus. Pretty sus, Vinny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> He's gonna hate you for life. For that one. Mogus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That dead or Again, this isn't my first go at this. Jackpot. That was some me yawning. Air! No, nobody's seen space balls. Tell me you've seen space balls. Now I just want a little secret here. This thing's a lot easier. Again, bullying bullies. And I did on a daily basis back in the N64. In real life, if anyone knew me personally back then. I'm like, like I had this bully that I just gave a good sock and nose to. And then, after that, he never bothered me again, but. He was afraid of me the next time I saw him on the playground. And I just felt really bad comforting him. And since then I was kind of a kind of a bit of a counseling role, I guess. That's when we kinda of became friends after that. Good. He kinda of straightened Zach down. Out. Like, like if it, if he hears me now, how I, I apologize for what I did back then. I know it's not much now, but eh, it is what it is. Seriously, knock on that sign. Alright, to the Giga Bell. Big Mario! Big! Now this was a Bowser fight to remember. Just be careful he doesn't do that to you. Like this was actually a legitimately more difficult Bowser fight. They made like little miniatures of like the whole island it's just for this this section. Oh 
Like, Odyssey's Bowser fight was good, but I don't think it was as dynamite as this. Yes, but again, I prefer Odyssey over this, you know? Oh, again, probably because it's short and it kind of goes with 3D World's details. But overall, it's an amazing game. And, like, both of them are amazing games. I'm just saying. It's rare when I prefer, like, previous 3D Mario game over another. Last time that happened was with the 3D Land in Galaxy 2. You know, usually, they just keep getting better to me, and the next one just becomes my, my favorite. Hurry up, Mario. Yeah, I don't think he looks very amused. Again, I like how he's... Like, how they still maintain... In his expressions. Expressions, like... With Odyssey and 3D World's, uh... Switch port. Where am I gonna use this? I guess I can reunite a family super quick. And it's gone. And it's gone. So raise your hand if you if you have a messed up wisdom tooth. Because that's what's currently happening with me. Oh, I forgot Mario could do that. That wall you can't Mario. With, with his long jump. Let's roll! Let's see... Yeah, it's basically like a Mario game, kind of like this. That's more open world. But with Odyssey's details and, uh... And little explorability. Like, Odyssey makes you look through, like, every book and cranny. I like that. I'm just giving... If Mario his Odyssey makes set, I think it would be good. Yes, everything is cat. Like, black cat. Plants! The enemies! Even the environment! <laughs> uh, 
Ugh. Well, yeah, I, I think that pretty much sums it up. I mean, it's... That's... Alrighty then, I'll see you around. Have a super bartender.